Okay, this is the M1 paper for June 2021. It's question number eight. It's a kinematics question with a speed time graph as a big part of it. Uh, we're going to do some SUVAT work because we've got constant acceleration as well. Um, you can see it's worth 15 mark, uh, sorry, 13 marks here. So it's going to be quite an involved question. We'll take them step by step and we'll just look at this part here, which is asking us to sketch the speed time graph. So what I'll do is give you all the information for that and then um, we'll get going with that. So what is the information? It tells me I've got two different trams. Tram A here starts at t equals naught and accelerates for five seconds at two. And then at the end, it moves with a constant speed. Both of them move with a constant speed at the end. Tram B then, by comparison, starts 20 seconds later moves with a different acceleration for a different amount of time, but again, ends up moving with a constant speed. And it says, can we sketch on the same axes a speed time graph all the way up to the instant where tram B overtakes tram A? So let's just talk about that quickly. Tram B will overtake tram A when they've done the same distance. So I want where those two distances eventually work out to be equal to each other. Right, so let's do our axes for our speed time graph so we've got speed here time here uh, let's concentrate on a first of all so a it says starts off at t equals naught and accelerates at two meters per second squared for five seconds so if we're going to be doing that then it's going to accelerate up it's going to take five seconds to reach a speed and then it just travels with that constant speed for the rest of the journey so that's a b travels uh, sorry starts off at 20 seconds okay so it's going to start off over here at 20 seconds and the one thing i can say about b because it's going to accelerate as well don't have it parallel there you want it to be steeper than um a is it's going to reach a speed and then again it's going to travel along with a constant speed there so that's going to be b how do i know that that speed there is greater than that speed there well i'm actually going to work those out because i'm going to need them for the second part anyway so for a we could just use v equals u plus a t remember um u is equal to zero so it's just going to be um what does it do? Two meters per second for five seconds. So it's just going to be two times five. That's going to be 10 meters per second. Now I'll put it on here, but I don't need it in terms of my sketch. For B, what I do need on my sketch that I haven't put on yet is that for B, that started at 20 seconds and it carried on going. for 24 seconds. Now, if I um, take off this thing here, that's all I need for my sketch, okay? But let's just put that on for a second. For B, if I did V equals U plus AT, again, there's no initial velocity and it's accelerating with uh, three for four seconds this time. So three times four there, that's gonna be 12 meters per second. So that's going to be 12 meters per second there. So I know that it has gone, um, it starts going faster than, than A. Otherwise it wouldn't, know, it wouldn't catch it, would it? Because it's itself for a later time. But anyway, when we're doing this then, I need to do it up to a point T here, nominally where this area here, that's how far B has gone, is going to work out to be this area here how far A has gone. That's when they wanted me to do it up to. Um, in terms of, for my sketch, I do not need those two values on. It's worth three marks, and in the mark scheme, they're only interested in you having those three. Yes, they want that to be steeper, and yes, they want it to be going faster there than it is there, but that's more than enough information for the sketch.
Okay, on to part B then. So for part B it says, at the instant when the two trams are moving with the same speed, that's here, at the instant when the two trams are moving the same speed, A is D meters in front of B, what's D? So what they're really saying then is, can I work out this time, first of all? I'm gonna to have to work out that time there. What's that time there going to be? Once I've got that time, I'll then be able to work out how far this one has gone at that time, how far this one has gone at that time, and then D will be the difference between those two. So that's gonna be my game plan for doing it. Let's actually work out what that's going to be. So if I want to do that then for part uh, B, I'm going to say, consider B first of all, do a SUVAT, and the key is that we know that velocity is 10 meters per second there. Okay, I know that velocity is 10 meters per second when I'm doing that one. So if I do SUVAT, S, I'm not interested at the moment, it goes from a speed of naught to a speed of 10. I know it was accelerating with three, so what's T gonna be equal to there? Well, let's just do V equals U plus AT, which will give me 10 equals naught plus three T, so T is gonna be 10 over three seconds. Now, what I'm actually gonna do, and I wouldn't necessarily do this as part of my answer, but in terms of explaining this to you guys, and it depends on how much time you've got as you're actually going through, I really need this diagram drawn back out here again so I can start putting on some lengths and making it clear where various different things are coming from. So I now know that this bit here is 10 over three, okay? As in that length there is 10 over three. Let's get rid of the S and let's get rid of the S there just to make this nice and clear to us. Yeah, so that's 10 over three in there because what I'm gonna do is to work out the distance that A traveled now. So the distance for A So the distance for A is going to be this trapezium here. And if I've got that trapezium there, then what I want to do is I want to know what that length is. I want to know what that length is. And I want to know what that height is. Well, I can put these in on my bit here. That I, I'd say I wouldn't necessarily have this drawn out, but in terms of explaining it to you guys, it's going to make it much, much easier. I'd make less mistakes if I did draw it out again, but it's all a matter of how much time you've got as you're going through and doing it. So S is equal to half A plus B times H, which is gonna be a half 20 plus 10 over three, which is the bottom length, and then 15 plus 10 over three, is the top length there. This length here is basically five less than this length here. So it makes it a little bit easier to see those ones all multiplied by a height of 10. So if we work all that out, I'm not gonna take any time over that. You can just put, put that into your calculator. It works out to be 625 over three for the area that, or the distance, but the area under the curve the distance that A has traveled after 20 and 10 third seconds. If I do the distance for B, that's slightly simpler to do because the distance that B has traveled is just gonna be that triangle in there. So the distance for B then is gonna be half base times height. So S is gonna be half 
base times height, which is going to be a half, and it's just 10 over 3, times 10 there, which works out to be 50 over 3. Now, don't forget to answer the question. D that we're looking for is one of those lengths minus the other length. We want to know how far ahead it is. It's way ahead. Obviously, it's 191 and two thirds meters ahead at this stage. Okay, right on to part C then. Another five marks, and it says find the distance. Look at that dot now. Find the distance um, of the trams from the depot at the instant when B overtakes A. So what we want to do is we want to know either how far, sorry, how far is that length, that area, or how far is that distance, that area. But for both of them, what I really need to do is to work out that time. And in order to work out that time, what I'm going to need to do then is to work out the distance that one of them has traveled and the distance that the other one has traveled using T here. So let's tell the examiner what I'm doing again. Part C. Um, it overtakes when distance traveled uh, equal. So for S A, the distance traveled, again, I can explain it on here first of all, um, as we're actually going through and doing it, and then we'll work it out. For A, we've got that length is T, that length is T minus five, and that height there is 10. So nice to be able to use this diagram to explain it to you. SA is gonna be half A plus B times H, which is gonna be a half T plus T minus five times 10, which works out to be five lots of two T minus five, five lots of 2t minus 5 is going to be 10t minus 25. If I do it for b, this length here and this length here now, well, the top one is t minus 24 and the bottom one is t minus 20. The height this time is going to be equal to 12. So if I'm now trying to work out those ones, and again, this is all just explaining it to you, unless I have all this written down in terms of how much time it's taking me, and obviously also um, just for trying to make sure you're working out as efficient as possible. So SB then is going to be half a plus b times h again so this is a half so what did we say those two lengths were t minus 20 and t minus 24 and this time that's a height of 12 not of um, 10. so if i work all that out that works out to be 24t minus 264 and it overtakes when the distances are equal, so I'm going to put them equal to each other. 10t minus 25 is equal to 24t minus 264, and work out what t is. I don't know why I've got a capital T there. In fact, if I've got a capital T there, let's go back and put this as a capital T. T, that's what I'm talking about at the time, T there. Um, yeah, so if we do that, t works out to be equal to 119.5 seconds, make sure you answer the question. The question didn't say that it could have done, it could have said what, what time was it, but it actually said what was the distance. So the distance traveled 
I'm going to use 10t minus 25 is 10 times 119.5 minus 25, and that works out to be 1170 meters for that final answer. So long video, long question, uh, but certainly one that's gettable if you break it down into the three bits and you're aware of all those little tricks that they do to try and uh, get that question. Okay, hopefully that makes sense.